Hi, today we are going to learn how you can create your own Android application on your Android phone without wasting much of your time. This tutorial is for advanced and beginners, but purposely for beginners, someone who doesn't have any idea about coding or creating Android application. This video is for you so you can create your own Android application without having any technical know-how. Let's get started. We are going to use three applications. The first application is APK Editor Pro. You can use any APK Editor from Google Play Store, but I recommend APK Editor Pro. Second, we are going to design our own logo for the application. So we are going to use Pixel Lab. That is what I recommend. You can use Pickers and other um, image editing software on Google Play Store. And the third application is the application I have built myself which i'll be leaving all the links to this application so that you can download so you can check from the description of this video and download the applications this is and the third and the fourth last thing you need is not application but you will be needing a website url which everybody have you have and i have it so far as you have a youtube account you have so so far as you have a facebook um, account you have an instagram account you have a twitter handle these are all websites that you can copy your url and use it as your um uh, as your destination for your application so um, without talking much and taking much of your time please get these three things and start building your own application just under seven minutes it won't take much time just under seven minutes we'll be done and the application will be working and uh, you can upload this application to anywhere you want you can send it to anybody you can upload it to google play store you can sell it you can it will be awesome a very simple and professional looking application so without wasting much of your time as i said earlier subscribe to my youtube channel and turn on the notification bell for and um, subsequent updates thank you let's move straight to how we can create this application on our android phone so let's move straight to our android phone um this is my phone as you can all see it's my phone let me open it to a full screen so that everything will be clear to you so we are going to learn first we, we talked about apk editor because we'll be using that app so we'll be using this app and we also talked about Kizzle lab which we'll be using and the last app that we talked about was this app that is the app that I built myself. It's not a YouTube app, but I use my YouTube channel as a destination for this application. So these are the apps that we are going to use, plus the website URL. And uh, with the website URL, I'll be using a friend of mine called Philips Site Class. Philips Site Class. This is the website that we are going to use as a destination for this application we are going to build. So stay tuned. We are going to start from the scratch. We are going to start everything afresh. So we'll be needing three applications plus a website url as and as we discussed earlier you can use your facebook url or your instagram handle um, your twitter handle or any other your youtube channel you can use any of them as a destination for this app we are going to build on our android phone with my case i'll be using philips site plus or oh, that is philips it he's one of he's a best friend of mine a very good friend of mine he also develops apps so if you want to learn how to develop apps if you want to be a developer learn more about coding and design you can go to his website which is flipsiteclass.com let's move straight to where let's move straight to, the, to, 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 to today's business we are moving straight to today's business okay good now let's make let's start with puzzle lab we are going to design a logo for this very app so we move straight to puzzle lab good when, when, when you come to this place when you come to this place you, you you need to come to this side just to import a logo or any image so let's move straight to that come to this side good then move straight to import i want to do everything step by step so you understand good so we are going to import so click on import then we import any image from your phone so let me go through my images so i'll be selecting an image here because i'll be using flip it so let me use his logo for this very tutorial so click here yes so it is always recommended you use a transparent background 
So with this, let's center the image. So if you want to center the image, just move straight to where you see uh, relative position. Then click on that. Then we center this and click here, these two buttons. Then we center the thing. We can make it a bit larger than this. Good. So I, I prefer using a very a round image. So let me move to crop. So I want to crop. So come to this side. Then it makes it around. So I'll click OK. So now here we have this. Let's center it again. The position has changed. Let me let me let me enlarge it a bit. Okay, so center, center. Good. Okay. So we are we want a transparent background. So click any any of this place and click here. Then you come to this place. Let me let me highlight it. You come to this place. Good. So you come to this place. Then you click on transparent, then you see the, tra the background change to a transparent background. We are done with the image creating. Just click, let's click here, click save, S then save to gallery. Good. Now we have our logo for the application created. Let's move to the business. So we are going straight to the business. Good. Let's move to apps. We are going to APK Editor. Let's move straight to APK Editor. This is the master that we are going to use to, I mean, um, build our application. So click on APK Editor. When you come here first, um, now because I have the application we are going to modify already installed on my phone, I will move straight to select APK from apps. So I will select an APK from apps. Good. So I'll move straight to, until I find, this is the application we are going to modify. This is the application, or say, Bonsu Luther. Good. So we click here. Then say, come on, edit. That is the first step. So come on, edit. Let's change this to flex IT. Good. So we change this to Philip. Sorry, what is that? Philip IT. Good. Then we move to the logo side. Click on the logo, which is, if, if you see my side, you click on the logo, then you'll move straight down to see if we can find the image that we just created. If you can't find it, just move, come to this place until now here. We can search for Pizzle Lab, which is the application we use. We use, we just use to create the business. So now we are here on Pizzle Lab. We search for Flex IT. This is the image that is the image we just created. You would click on that image and you see, boom, it's here. Good. Now click here, save. Before you do so, it's com dot what YouTube. And here I am not going to use YouTube um, as a destination. So I have to change this to the very distance. So let's come straight home. Click. Home button. Let me go to um, my WhatsApp and copy this. So we're going to be com dot Philips site plus. So we are going to copy this and say com dot flip site plus. So let's copy that and move. Click recent and let's move to APK editor. Let's come here. Good. So we come here and click here. We change these to. Philip site plus like this. Then you click on save. Then you click install this application. We are not done, but just click install. Then click install. Good. Click done. Close. Close. Then let's come home. Good. Now here we are here. So let's go to let's go and see the application we just created. We are not done yet, please. Now you can see Flex IT. Let me add to my this thing. Yes, let me add it here. This is the application we edited, and now we had it in this way. But still, when you open, it will open this same destination. So what we do? So now we open this Flex app. It will open my YouTube channel. It means we haven't changed the destination of this app. You can see it still opens here. 
So another one step, then we are done with everything. So let's come home. Good. So open APK editor again. APK editor again. Good. Good. That. Then you go to select an APK file. No, come to select APK from app. Good. Let's move to and find Philips IT. Philips IT. Philips IT. Where, where is it? Where is it? P column. P, P. Philips IT. Philips. Move slow, 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 slow. Slow, slow, slow. Good. This is Philips IT. This is the app that we just created. So click on it. Then you click edit full, edit full. So click edit full. Here is the most important part. Then decode all files. Then here you come to where it says files. Let, let me highlight this portion. You come to files here. Good. So let's move to files. So then we move straight to assets. This is what I'm talking about. Assets. Then we call to params.test. So under params. Open, just open it. Params. Good. This is the destination of my app. So what do we do? We just change it to philipsit.com. So highlight this, please. You can edit it. Sorry. Good. Then we paste. I have copied philipsit. Um, paste. So now you see philip i philipsiteplus.com. We are done. So we can when you are done pasting or typing the destination URL, you come to this side and click save that. So click here. Saved. So now we have saved it. Let's come back. Another back. Then we are going to build this thing. So we click here, build. Ah, good. So let me click that top build. Allow it, four steps, done. Because I already have it installed, we have to remove the first one and replace it with this new one with a, with a different URL. So click on remove. Let me highlight it. I know you've, you've seen it. Remove. Click here. Good. So remove. It will uninstall the previous one. Uninstall. Good. Then you click on install. So I know you can see it here. Install. I want everything to be step by step so you understand everything fully. Good. So here, we click install, 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 install. So now application is installing. So just have a, a little time. Just wait. Now it's done. Just click save or done. Or you can open it right from this side. Close, then close. Then let's come home. Good. So let's move here. Move here to, see, to where we can find the new app. This is the app we just created. This is the app that we just created. Good. This is the app. Open the app and see the magic. So, you see, everything is working perfectly. So, this is the site of my friend, um, Phyllis IT, which is also known as Soja Boy. This is the site. So, you can come here anytime. So when you visit the site, you can do absolutely anything here. Everything. Home, shop, account, call, chat. So you see, every button will be working perfectly. So when you come here, request, choose a, bun a bundle. Everything. Is, you can move to the menu, blog, services, and also you can click on services. Good. You can see site development, everything here contact us you can contact them also so that is it so contact us you click on it wait yes you see you see their information call us my this thing is running so this thing is great let me know slow 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 so please this is how and so simple um how to create your own android application on your android phone without paying anything all these apps will be leaving in the description of this video. Also, um, one thing that um, is left out of this video is the Puzzle Lab. If you want the pro version, the full version, you can use the trial version, but it comes with a bunch of um, apps. 
so if you want to um if you want to use as you can see i'm using the pro version of this application uh -huh, yeah so you can see that and um, the pro this thing the time a pro has been removed it means that i'm using the pro version if you want to learn how to remove the pro version without paying a penny just check the app there you can see that and yes click on the top there and watch that video also and become a pro version you can use that little tr uh, trick to remove any lenses for verification from all your apps thanks for watching if you find this very important and useful please subscribe to my youtube channel click on the notification bell and stay tuned for more videos and updates and new and subsequent updates from Osei Bozo. We love you all. Have a very nice day. Peace. Until next time, we meet again.